Piecewise defined functions in graph and table. So we'll open up the graph and table now. First thing is to get the keyboard and head down to the Math 3 template where we can find the piecewise define tool here. So if we tap it once, we could put two functions. If we tap it a third time, we've got room for R3. And uh, in the top one is 3 minus x squared. And the next one is x take 3. So x take 3. And the last one is 2. Uh, now the restrictions on the top one is that negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 2. And the next one picks up from 2 or more. So in this case x has to be greater than or equal to 2. And we'll leave the last one blank for elsewhere. So basically ClassPad will work out that if we don't put anything in this one, the function's always worth 2. Um, now we've just got to select the box to actually get the graph ready. And if we uh, then we'll get rid of the keyboard and draw the graph. And so you can see ClassPad's drawn the three bits here, where for elsewhere it's always worth 2. Then between negative 1 and 2, we've got this inverted parabola, uh, this little section. And then from x greater than 2 onwards, it's x minus 3. Here's that straight line. Um, now we can trace along this. Here we go. If I start with tracing, we could jump to negative 4. I'll just type in negative 4 and OK. And it's jumped to negative 4. We could jump to positive 4, 4 and OK. So we can trace all along it, but you'll notice up under analysis and G solve, quite a few of the functions are grayed out. Intersection, integral is not going to work, uh, and so on. So um, although it's uh, we can graph them, we can't. Oops, we can't always um, sort of carry on and do some analysis beyond just looking at the actual function.